Welcome to a short video overview of European Resuscitation Council 2021 guidelines on system saving life. I'm Federico Semeraro, consultant in anesthesia intensive care in Maggiore Hospital Bologna, Italy, and I'm lead the system saving life writing group. I'm going to focus on this video on the new chapter system saving life. It is a, a pleasure to introduce you the writing group very grateful, honored, and proud to work on this chapter with them. And these are our conflict of interest. The System Saving Life Guideline describe numerous and important factors that can globally improve the management of cardiac arrest patient, not as a single intervention, but as a system level approach. The aim is to provide evidence-informed best practice guidance as a system in out-of-hospital and in-hospital cardiac arrest setting. The intended audience of these guidelines are government, manager of health and education system, healthcare professional, teacher, students, and lay people. The system saving life concept emphasizes the interconnection between community and AMS and should be implemented in each European community. In system saving life, everyone and everything is an important link to survival. We are moving from the classical four link chain of survival to a multitude of links in the new system saving life. Every single step in the complex system is important. If you cannot measure it, you cannot improve it. Based on ILCOR systematic review, ERC recommend that organizations or communities that treat cardiac arrest should evaluate their performance and target key areas with the goal of improving performance. Social media and smartphone apps for engaging the community. First responder who are near a suspected out of hospital cardiac arrest should be notified by the dispatch center through an alerting system implemented with a smartphone app or a text message. Every European country is highly encouraged to implement this technology. Alerting first responders improve the rate of bystander CPR reduced time to first compression and shock delivery and improve survival with good neurological recovery. ESC recommend to implement technologies to alert first responder to cardiac arrest through smartphone apps and text message. Develop community of first responders, create map and share the location of public access defibrillators. European Restart at Day and World Restart at Heart. National Resuscitation Council, national governments and local authorities should engage with World Restart at Day. Raise awareness of the importance of bystander CPR and ADs. Train as many citizens as possible and develop new and innovative system and policies that will save more life. Kids have life. All school children should routinely receive CPR training each year. Mandatory nationwide training of school children has the highest and most important long term impact for improving bystander CPR rate. Teach, check, call, compress. Get children to teach their parents and relatives. CPR training should also be delivered in higher education institutions, in particular to teaching and care students. The responsible people in the Ministry of Education and or Ministry of Schools and other leading politicians of each country should implement a nationwide program for teaching CPR to school children. Training school children in CPR should be mandatory by law all over the Europe and elsewhere. Community initiative to promote CPR implementation. Nothing happens without the engagement of the community. The role of the community in providing the first response to out of hospital cardiac arrest through by standard CPR is critically important, but in most systems is still far from optimal. ERC recommend that healthcare system should implement community initiative for CPR training for a large portion of the population. Resuscitation research in low resource settings, a list with essential resuscitation care resources 
that is specially adapted to low resource settings should be developed in collaboration with stakeholders from this low resource setting. It takes a system to save a life. Programs such as the European Resuscitation Academy and Global Resuscitation Alliance should be implemented to increase bystander CPR rates and improve survival in case of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. Role of dispatcher, it is a fundamental role. Dispatch centers should implement standardized criteria and algorithms to determine if a patient is in cardiac arrest at the time of the emergency call. Dispatch centers should monitor and track their ability to recognize cardiac arrest and continuously look for ways to improve recognition of cardiac arrest. Early recognition of cardiac arrest and bystander CPR improves survival. Dispatch assistants may improve survival by assisting callers in recognizing arrest and providing CPR instruction. ERC recommend provide telephone assisted CPR for people who are unresponsive with absent or abnormal breathing and work with dispatch staff to continually monitor and improve telephone assistance CPR. Early warning score, rapid response systems, and medical emergency teams. Consistent with ILCOR, the ERC suggests that hospital consider the introduction of a rapid response system to reduce the incidence of in-hospital cardiac arrest and in-hospital mortality. Cardiac arrest centers are hospital providing evidence-based resuscitation treatments, including emergency interventional cardiology and bundle critical care with target temperature management, protocolized cardio, respiratory support, and prognostication. Consistent with ILCOR, the ERC suggests that adult patients with out-of-hospital cardiac arrest be cared for in cardiac arrest centers rather than in non-cardiac arrest centers. Treatment in cardiac arrest centers provide the best outcome for patients. That's all, folks. Spread the word and please use hashtag system saving life. Live long and prosper.